Hi people, how are you? Uh, today we're going to be talking about this book by Marisa Meyer, Instant Karma. And I have to say that I did love this one because um, it helped me uh, escape reality, uh, just, you know, open its pages and lose myself inside this adventure. And it's a very, it's a romantic book, uh, but it's also very funny and it makes you think about lots of things. And I didn't knew when I, I didn't know when I bought it that it also has um, it talks about things that are very important, like the conservation of uh, sea animals. And I did love that and the take it has in the book. Um, mainly this book is going to be following these two main characters. This girl here is called Prudence, Prudence and this is Kint. And they kind of hate each other. And uh, when you begin the book, uh, you're following the point of view of Prudence here. So when you began the book, you began thinking that Kint is this selfish guy, he's a very popular guy, he does whatever he pleases, and it's never on time, and it's making Prudence's life miserable. They have been paid together in this lab thing that they have to present at the school, and he arrives late, and he does whatever he wants. So you see him through her view, and think of him, as I say, as a someone who is a uh, daredevil, all the things about himself. But as the book progresses, you begin to see that Prudence is biased, that uh, she's judging people through her particular lens. And that comes more prominent when she, um, as you can see, the book is called Instant Karma. So she gets, uh, she hurts herself, she bumps her head on the floor, and when she wakes up, she has this kind of power in which she can ask Karma to, you know, to pay for work someone for some kind of action. If he sees uh, a kid bullying an animal, then uh, he presses her fist and then, I don't know, something happens to the kid. He falls to the floor or he's hit by a ball or whatever. And the thing is that she feels like, uh, you know, very entitled to have disability because it means like somehow is the universe regarding her rewarding her for being the person that she is and she thinks that she has the ability or the sentience to you know to punish those who do wrong and it's not going to be the mind center of the book the mind center of the book is going to be her relationship with kind but uh, that's going to be like you know like the secondary thing the ability that she has of using karma to punish those people who are doing evil but uh, what I did from very interesting about this is that as I say the book is tall from her perspective. So sometimes he sees, she sees something. Uh, I remember in particular, she sees this conversation between a girl and her two friends. And the girl happens to be the love interest of her brother. And the girl is saying that, yeah, that guy, Jude, the brother, he is cute, but I'm not interested in him. And she gets very angry because it's her brother, so she wants to punish the girl. And so she uses a karma thing. And you're thinking, Prue, you are the one who's in the wrong. The girl is simply studying that she doesn't like your brother. She is not, you know, she's not saying that he's ugly. She's not saying that she's whatever. She's just plain and simple saying, I don't like him. I guess that he, uh, I will like that he will take the hint that I am not interested because she isn't. And I like to see how we have this main character called Prue and she's on the ground more than once. And I love that because she's not perfect. And I was saying there are times in which she fights with Kind, and as a reader, you see her point of view, but you can see that she's wrong, because it's not his fault. Um, she's overreacting, she's been a bit too judgy, or whatever, and when he, she tries to punish him using karma, it backfires and punishes her. And I did love that. I love this take that you have this main character who's imperfect, has a lot to learn, it's a very young character, and it's in that place in which, uh, you know, she uh, is unsure of herself, and also sometimes it's uh, very selfish in the way that she judges others. She never hears what they have to say. She she, she comes, um, it's like, okay, I don't, care, I don't care what you're saying, I'm going to take my own point of view on this situation, and I'm going to apply that. And I love to see how even though that she has this ability, as I say, of using karma, karma knows who is in the right and who is in the wrong, and very subtly lets her know that she's the one that's in the wrong, and I did love that, because you have a mind character, as I was saying, that it's not perfect, and I love that, and I know there was people who were saying, I cannot stand her, I don't like her, so it's hard for me to follow, but for me, it was amazing, because 
I'm tired of having these amazing characters that do no wrong, that know everything, that are perfect and that, you know, because I think they are very young, they are in high school, they are still learning. And if I think back to when I was that age, yeah, I mean, there were lots of things that I was, you know, I, I am an, I'm, not, I'm a person that likes to do things for myself because I like to have everything controlled so I can relate with her. But when you grow up, you begin to realize that maybe you need to ask for help sometimes because you cannot do things, everything alone or you need help because someone is better than you at something. And it doesn't mean that you're less. It means, you know, that if you do things with other people, the result can be better. And also you have to learn how to say, I cannot do this for myself. I need help. And she's in that point in life in which she's still grappling with all these concepts and she has a way to go. And we are going to see how she began to learn things when you know, as the move, the, the book moves forward. And you as a reader, you have this sense that Kint is not the selfish guy that she finds him to be. And as the book progresses, you begin to see why he is always late, uh, why he has this carefree attitude, and what he does that is so important to him that sometimes he isn't even late at class, and why he isn't punished for it. And yeah, I did love that. Um, yeah, but I digress. Uh, the book is going to be following these two main characters that at the beginning they hate each other, uh, all based on false ideas on and misconceptions about who the other person really is, because they had this barrier between them that they had constructed mostly through. And they have to uh, overcome all those things to end up working together. And I did love how they come from being these two people who have been spending a whole year at the school together and they barely know each other despite that. And I love how they began to see what's behind the facade. And I did love to see how they discover each other. And I also did love uh, how Prue begins to be her own person. And she begins to realize that she has been misjudging people, that she has been having, you know, this position in which she thought that she was the one with all the answers and she realizes that maybe she was wrong and i love that it's not something that happens with the snaps of a finger or overnight but it's something that she works on during the book you think that she's getting better and then she backtracks and then they fight and then they fix it but it's not like these romantic novels in which you know they keep fighting and they keep making up and they keep no it's more you know more real more like, okay, I'm realizing the faults in my character and I want to fix them, but it's not going to happen overnight. So bear with me, give me time. So yeah, the relationship between these two main characters is amazing. I have to say that I completely love Kint. It's an amazing character. And I do love the questions that this book presents us. As I say, it talks about the conservation of marine life. And it talks about the pollution, about the plastics we throw in the ocean, about the way that we treat animals. And we are going to have this rehabilitation, rehabilitation center where they uh, take care of different lion seals, seals and different animals from the sea. And for me, that was amazing to learn how it works and, you know, the, the labor they do there. And also it makes you think about where the food that you eat comes from. If it comes from respectable farms which treat animals in a good way or in a bad way. And as I am very, you know, I'm concerned about those things, uh, I think that this book was amazing. I did love that because I didn't know it was going to be touching into those topics, but also uh, I, it made me love it even more. And there's lots of characters in here, and I hope that we see them again, because as I was saying, we have Prue, who has a brother who's called Jude, and Jude is interested in that girl that I told you before, called Maya. So I would love to have a book between those two. And also there is a different the, the brother and sister have that's called Ari, and it seems like there is a character called Erra, and something called Brewing, and I am wondering if Marisa Meyer is going to be writing more in this world. So if you know, just let me know. And if you want a book that's going to make you, you know, uh, it's very cute. It's very well written. The characters are amazing. The evolution of them, it's amazing because Keen also has some things to fix and he does. And I love, as I say, the journey that Prue makes from being this person, this self-centered person to, you know, open her views and realizing that maybe she's not in this power position of judging everyone uh, or at least she should before judging anyone hear what they have to say and you know I love how she learns about life and it's very 
it's very real. It's like if I was sitting with them in the boot and at the restaurant and I was part of the crew and, you know, uh, I... Yeah, it felt like this kind of thing where I was being following them around with my bike or my car and I went to the Revelation Center with them and I went to places and the high school and everything. It's this kind of book that you really put yourself inside the pages and, and enjoy them. Look, I smile. I do love this one. So yeah, I recommend that to you. Thank you for watching. Bye.